Hi, many of you have been calling and asking what the difference is between the bumper belt and our most popular product, the neoprene bumper belt. So in general sense, both products are exactly the same. They both have bumpers on the back. It's designed to be worn loose. It's designed to be worn as high as possible, so right up underneath your armpits. Uh, and it's designed to help you sleep on your side comfortably. Now what we've done over the last two years from customer feedback is address a couple of the issues. In particular, a lot of people were saying they wanted to wear the bumper belt directly against their skin. And our old bumper belt has a material that actually has a rubber nobule on the inside. So it's like a rubber membrane that is machine washable, but it's not very comfortable to wear directly against your skin, especially if you're going to sweat a little bit. Um, it also makes it impossible to put through the dryer because the rubber shouldn't be heated up. It does work though. So what have we done to improve it? Well, we've now gone to a very soft neoprene material. So it's very similar to a wetsuit uh, for surfing kind of material. It's machine washable uh, and it also can be worn very loosely. It's not going to sweat as much. It's much easier to dry. It actually dries really quick. The next improvement we've made is on the old belt, we have a very coarse Velcro. You can, you can almost hear the Velcro, and that sometimes means that the Velcro will scratch your arm. So if, for example, you happen to be wearing the belt, and let's say you have a very large chest. Well, on myself, it closes over perfectly. But let's say you, you were a bit heavier than me and the belts had to be exposed like this. Well, what would happen is that you actually have exposed Velcro on this side. And that Velcro can rub against the inside of your arm when you're sleeping. It can also stick to your bed sheets sometimes. So on myself, it's not a problem because the belt overlaps all the way. I don't have Velcro exposed on either side, but on a larger body, you may have some Velcro. Now what we've done to address that concern for customers is one, we've come out with different sizes of belts. And two, we use now a very soft Velcro. It's um, sensitive, uh, sorry, soft enough to touch. It won't stick to cotton bed sheets, and it definitely won't scratch any clothing or your arms. It's an expensive Velcro that is only available now in our bumper belts made with neoprene. To address the other point about sizes, we now have different sizes. So there's actually a sizing chart. When you go onto the neoprene bumper belt, you'll see that we have four different sizes of belts. And this is for children, so you've got to be under 60 pounds to be wearing the kid's belt. Then we have a belt that fits people uh, who are under 160 pounds. And typically it's decided based on your bra size. If you're a woman, it's your bra size. If it's, your man, if it's a man, it's decided quite often by your body weight. But so for women, it's very easy to follow our chest sizing chart. Your bra size is exactly the same as what size bumper belt you should wear. And for men, if you look at the sizing chart, your weight and your chest size will help you determine exactly what you need. So what's the difference? Three main differences. Number one, the type of material has changed. We've improved from a canvas outer with a plastic or rubberized liner to now using a 100% neoprene bumper belt. Machine washable, and much more comfortable to wear either directly against your skin or over your pajamas. Two, we've addressed sizes, so now we have all kinds of different sizes to fit small little children, medium-sized women, medium-sized men, and then plus sizes. So we'll go from, you know, 100, or actually we we'll go down to like 40-pound children, up to patients who are over 400 pounds wearing your belts. And three, the type of Velcro we use, which is a big improvement, because in the past, having the inside of your arm get scratched by the old Velcro or sometimes stick to the bed sheets was an annoyance. I think it's a great improvement that a lot of customers have responded very positively to. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you have some more questions, don't hesitate to pick up the phone and give us a call or send us an email. We'll look forward to working with you. Thanks very much.